This is a little video for you people that cannot obey the speed limit. I am one of those people. I'm gonna share with you whether this is criminal or not. Now, obviously the times I've been caught speeding, thank God, they were not criminal. They were what we call civil citations, traffic citations, going 15 over, 20 over. But speeding can be a crime, folks. You can be in handcuffs for speeding. You can be taken to jail for speeding. I don't wanna sound the alarm, but this happens. It is called reckless driving. There is no bright line that says at this point you're given a citation and at this point you are handcuffed. But what reckless driving says is that if you are going so fast that you have basically a wanton disregard for human life and the safety of others, then you are going to get arrested. Now, I'll give you an example, a couple examples. There was a recent case where the person was going 67 miles an hour and up to 90 miles an hour in a residential area that had a 35 mile an hour speed limit. The court said that is reckless driving, that is criminal, you go to jail for that. 67 in a 35 all the way up to 90. There was another case where this is State v. Gensler. The person was going 90 miles an hour in a commercial area that had a posted speed limit of 45 miles an hour. And the 90 miles an hour, even though it was super late at night in a 45 zone, handcuffs, reckless driving, you're not getting a speeding ticket. And what the court always says on these reckless drivings is that, again, how fast you're going isn't telling the whole story because the court notes at one point, a vehicle traveling at 100 miles an hour on an interstate highway does not pose the same level of wanton conduct as a vehicle traveling 90 miles an hour on a street with side streets, residential driveways, et cetera, et cetera. So folks, watch your speed, obviously. I'm telling myself this too. And just beware that too fast can be an arrest for a criminal charge of reckless driving. And just below that, you're gonna get a citation. You might even get careless driving in addition to speeding. But that's my little lecture about speeding and reckless driving.